So once you're uh, logged in to the Udemy Go course, um, you have access to all of this course content. And this is going to show you how to do everything with Go. And, um, and it's going to give you super detail, in-depth, much more than you need to know about Go for what we're doing in this class. So there's things on concurrency and channels, like that's 13, 14, 15, 17, you know, even air handling. Interfaces, I'll teach you that. I'm going to teach you everything we need to know in person. Well, this is another resource you could just look at on your own. I want to kind of see that again, or I want to know it in more detail, you know, or I want to know more about programming. And so, you know, there's things in there about recursion or whatever. So that's, uh, that's why I wanted to give you access to this. And you can find uh, the code, all of the code for that is on GitHub. And so if you go to uh, GitHub, and better yet, just do this. Go GitHub Todd McLeod. So everybody do this now. Search GitHub Todd McLeod. And again, I'm going to do this in an incognito window. And uh, it'll bring you to goes to 11, Todd McLeod. And I'm not going to show that in this video that's being recorded, but as soon as I'm done recording the video, I'll show you why I called it goes to 11, which is, it's not like a bad thing, but I just can't play other people's content. So uh, there's a spinal tap, and you just watch this. These go to 11, I don't know. It just came to me when I was creating my account. I thought it was funny, so I put it. But when you go here, it goes to 11. Uh, I have all these code repositories, and we'll learn about GitHub and what we do with GitHub. Who in here has worked with GitHub before? Okay. I have an account. Cool. And, uh, and if, you, uh, if you look just at like my overview, the one that has 729 stars is the repo for that course, the repository for that code course. And so all that code is in there. And you could just go over here to download and you could download a zip. So you could download all that code, have it on your machine, it's a folder, open it up. When you set up, we set up your environment, run it in your environment. And um, yeah, so you got a lot of really good code samples to look at that go along with that course I just showed you. Okay, so that's the next thing is uh, just knowing where the code for that course is.